so how does this feel? What? What exactly? Well, like to be standing. Here. Yeah, I mean, here talking to me <laughs> now. <laughs> it's great. Like we, the, the show is done. Mm. The season's over. The season's aired. So people have got to see it, and you're about to go into a room with a bunch of people to ask you questions. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of got used to it. We really uh, became quite good uh, stand-up comedians and uh, playing ping pong with each other, and you know, um, so no, excited to show. Um, some episodes of the show and 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 and, and answer the all, the all these questions uh to me um it was a, a peculiar situation because i live in europe so uh while they were watching the shows here in america i i, I couldn't watch it so i was always waiting for a response at three o'clock in the morning i was sitting on my couch in berlin thinking how how, how did it go how did it? and i was so thrilled to see you know how successful it was in the us and how much people how well people responded to it and i and i can experience that on the streets uh yeah. and you know being a European actor, you don't have that every day. That people stop you, you know, on the street and say, "Hey, great show, well done," and so on. So it feels it feels great. <laughs> so how did it feel acting wise to be able to like evolve your character through the ten hours that you had with the show versus like in Avengers movie? You're like, okay, I'm the bad guy, but this, this. Like, yeah, you only have a couple of scenes. I sometimes feel on movies it's very restrictive because you have to get to a certain point so quickly. After a couple of minutes, so it was, it was, it was great to have that privilege of time to have that long arc. And if you have a fascinating character to play like this one, uh, you just can't get enough of it. And even after seven months, when I put down my hat and my coat, you know, I was utterly sad because I thought like I wanted to go on for another ten hours, uh, because it's such a again such a rich world, New York, eighteen ninety six, uh, rich characters. Um, so it was, it was. It was a huge uh, luxury, I have to say, you know, to have that amount of time to, to discover, explore uh, a character to, to the core. Um, it's a brilliant experience. What's your favorite kind of character to play? Like, you, you have a pretty wide range that you've done so far. I was very happy that the Americans, they were the first ones in seeing something different in me because they didn't have the prejudices that, you know, German filmmakers, for example, had. So for a long time in Germany, I was typecast as the nicest guy in Germany, the oh. perfect son-in-law, you know, which ended up being pretty boring. Yeah. And so guys like Tarantino and Ron Howard said to me, you know, you can, you, you, I, I see something else in you. Yeah. Um, you are, you can be darker, you can be evil, you know, and that's very refreshing. So if you're asking me right now, I'm, I'm really drawn into darkness. Uh, okay. So I don't mind playing the villains. I, I, it's kind of a compliment when you're you're like, oh yeah, you're the bad guy. You're the bad guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's always more fun. <laughs> they, they always get to just like chew the scenery if they want. Yeah. So if you guys got a season two, what would you like to see happen? Oh god, there was so much stuff happening uh, back then. You know. Also, if, you know, if I think of my character in, in psychology, so many fascinating new theories and and and. and and explorations like hypnosis, you know, all that stuff. And then, generally speaking, electricity. I mean, how will the show then look like? I mean, we were still working with real gaslight back in Budapest just to make it as authentic as possible. But then, you know, electricity came to New York. And, uh, um, and then there's so many more uh, storylines also in the, when it comes to the to the corruption, to the to the mobsters versus the police and the commitment of Roosevelt fighting fighting it. There's, there's still a lot, a lot more. So there is no plan for it because you know it's a limited series. It's there's a closure to it. This is done. That's the first book. But we all agreed uh, that we would love to go back for another ten hours. <laughs> and then what are you working on now? I'm flying back tomorrow uh, to Berlin. It's the first time that I'm producing a film that I'm also in uh, by a friend of mine, Julie Delpy, who's a lovely French director. So that's going to be my my next thing. Um, and that will be Berlin and Moscow. So. Is this your first time producing? Yes. Yeah. And that's you... what I'm very excited about. Yeah. How do you like producing so far? Well, I'm fortunately I'm like an executive, creative kind of producer, so I don't have to deal with the numbers and the figures too much. That's my partner's doing that because then uh, I, I think I would be bankrupt uh, <laughs> before even starting the film. <laughs> well, thank you so much.